Bessie Coleman, nicknamed Queen Bess, Brave Bessie, and the only race aviatrix in the world, Bessie Coleman would become the first African American and the first Native American woman pilot. Born in Atlanta, Texas in 1892, Bessie was one of 13 brothers and sisters. The child of an African American maid and a Native American sharecropper, Bessie would grow up working alongside her mother in Waxahachie, Texas. By the age of 23, she was living with her brothers in Chicago, attending beauty school where she would first become a manicurist. But her sights were set on even greater and, as some would say, more eventful accomplishments. She was often teased by her brothers who had served in the war about how the French women were allowed to learn how to fly planes. Well, that set off a chain of historical events in a young Bessie Coleman's life. After finally being accepted at the Cauldron's Brothers School of Aviation in France, she would go on to earn her international pilot's license. Skilled and creative, she became best known for her love of sky tricks and was even well known for her infamous loop-the-loops, which is where she would make the shape of an eight in the sky with her plane. In April of 1926, Bessie's life would be ended tragically during a test flight that experienced a mechanical mishap. Although her passing was unexpected and a great loss to the aviation community, Bessie left this world doing what she loved most, flying planes. In honor of her memory, the Challenger Pilots Association of Chicago began the tradition of flying over her grave every year in 1931. Never to have been forgotten, the Bessie Coleman stamp was made to commemorate her accomplishments in aviation history. Bessie Coleman, you are a true unsung hero.